Mm-mm-mm-mm. Time to throw it back to one of the greatest movies of our time. Cheers, bitch. Hey, it's Lucas. Welcome back to the Chan Chan. So today I'm going to be... Wait, what is this video? Make fun of those dumb ones. <laughs> <laughs> so today I'm going to be testing my knowledge of Fred the Movie, which is a movie I starred in in 1987. When did it come out? 2010? 2010, yeah. So it's almost been a full decade since Fred the Movie came out. I had to watch it a bunch of times through the editing process, the premieres. Since then, can't lie, I haven't seen it. I haven't been sitting home and been like, I should watch Fred the Movie. I should. I should watch it, but I haven't. It's like a middle school talent show video. Like, you know it's there, but you don't want to watch because you know it'll hurt. So basically, Jacob's going to be telling me some quotes from Fred the Movie, and I have to guess if that is a quote or isn't a quote because sometimes the quotes aren't going to be real. Is that the best way to explain it? What should we call this to make like a cool title? Is it the quote? Is it real or fake with Lucas? Perfect. That's it. Do I know my own movie? Let's see, host. Oh, you're gonna get it. You're gonna get it, Figo Horn. You want some of this? Oh, you want it. Why, it just feels like gross now. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> That's definitely from the movie because I remember Kevin saying that to me as Fred. Yeah. Bitch, I know it. Oh, you're gonna get it. You're gonna get it, gonna get it Figo Horn. You want some of this? She said it, I did it. Oh, you want it? Yeah! <laughs> It comes out that I secretly watch Fred the movie every day. If I don't get any food in my body, then there's gonna be no blood in my head. Then my head's gonna fall off because there's gonna be no blood in it. That's part of the movie. I remember saying that. Yeah, but what? Uh, Let me actually try to go back to my memories. Oh, it's when I'm making the cheese fries. Yeah. If I don't get any food in my body, then there's gonna be no blood in my head, and then my head might fall off because there's no blood in it! How do I remember these still? That's weird. Like, I remember having to memorize that line. Fred the movie made me an expert at memorizing, because I didn't memorize pages of shit, just only Fred talking. So now, I can memorize anything. No como peace. Huh? <laughs> because there's a part of the movie where someone speaks Spanish. Well, I'm guessing that's true then. <laughs> Oh, there isn't a part of the movie where someone speaks Spanish? There was a part where people spoke Spanish, but I made this one. That was a trick one. You wanted me to remember the exact Spanish sentence, which I didn't. So, so far, failed one. Oh my gosh, Gary, he's a gangbanger. <laughs> okay, that's not it in the movie, right? Okay, I was watching the movie, and why is gangbanger in the movie? But that was allowed on Nickelodeon? It said, oh my gosh, Gary, he's a gangbanger. I remember saying gang banger. Oh yeah, because banger. You were gang the, banger. You were in the dog thingy trying to get a Pomeranian, and then one of them called you a gang banger. I think. Oh my! I wonder if that was cut out of the Nickelodeon version. Nickelodeon lets people say gang banger. We need to start a petition to stop this. Oh my God, Gary! He's a gang banger. He's a gang banger. Does this happen in the movie? Does Fred spit on his mom to make the party look cool at the end of the movie? Wait, what? Because you know what? The end of the movie? <laughs> it's so funny because you're in the movie. Okay. Wait, but the end of the movie, I, I throw a party and I spit on my mom? To make it look cool. I don't think that happens. Because I don't think Fred would spit on his mom. No, that didn't happen. <gasps> Bitches, I knew! What made you come up with that one? I thought it was close. So I feel like, because I feel like that might have happened in the Yeah, movie. but the way you explained it though, I kind of believed it. Judy is my neighbor, but she feels so far away, like my dad when I was little. That's actually a funny line, but I feel like that wasn't in the movie because it's too dark. No, it's not in the movie. That was a good line. Go you. You should write the Fred Ford. Be a good boy. You're a good boy. I'm just gonna guess that was in the movie because it, it sounds like something John Cena would have said or something. Yeah, I don't know who said it. I think it was him. Or my mom, probably. Yeah, one of them. Be a good boy. You're a good boy. Does this happen in the movie? Does Judy get under a bed and then gets pulled from under the bed? Yes, because I remember it was supposed to be like a parody of Taken. Yeah, that does happen in the movie. But it's just like, where did that happen? <laughs> <laughs> They're trying to do a parody of the movie Taken, you know, where like those girls go to France and they get kidnapped. Okay, Judy. Listen carefully. Yes, Fred? You are under a bed right now. <gasps> oh, Fred, no! Does this happen in the movie? Do you play spin the bottle with your mom? Actually, that, that does happen. I remember doing that. Yeah, that does happen. That's like so gross though. I think it's hot. I can't believe you 
watched the whole Fred movie to prepare for this. I meant Emma when we watched it. Like, Bitch, you oh, went to the premiere. No, oh, I, 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 I forgot about it. So. Oh, great, it was completely forgettable. <laughs> there was going to be forbidden stuff. Like, this will put us in jail if people found out. Is there any context for that one or no? Then you were trying to build a pouty and you wanted to make it seem cool. For some reason I just don't remember that line. So this is a no. Let's know. Yeah, I did have that. Oh my god, I can't believe how much I remember. Like something in me was just like, I never memorized that line. You star in one Fred movie and you remember it for the rest of your life. This is bus seven, where sometimes the floor smells meat. So the bus seven? Yeah. Where sometimes the floor smells meaty? Yes. That's not part of the movie. No, it's not. Oh my god. You really know this. I swear, guys, I haven't seen it since the premieres. I'm not just casually watching Fred the movie. How do I remember all this? Just be honest, you watch it. Does this happen in the movie? Do you do jumping jacks in the woods while peeing? While peeing? Doing jumping jacks. Yeah, while peeing. No. That doesn't happen yet. You got it right. Oh my god! <laughs> Yes. Imagine all the things that I'm not remembering about important things because my mind is keeping storage for knowing this useless shit that doesn't have any benefit in my life besides this video. Yeah, because you could be solving like global warming, but uh, instead you just dream about Fred. It's a curse and a blessing. Sometimes you don't use these muscles, you use these muscles. Oh, John Cena definitely said that. Yes! Have I just gotten all of these right? This is, I thought this was gonna be like a funny video, like, oh my God, I don't remember, but like, I just sadly remember all of this. <laughs> Sometimes you don't use these muscles, you use this muscle. Oh, this was nine years ago. But we filmed it 10 years ago, so it's been a full ass decade. Okay, so you remember. Let me see if I remember exactly, he said, Sometimes you don't use these muscles, you use these muscles, right? Yeah. Oh my god. Wait, then he no, threw me no. on a couch and pushed me and said, Get down, son. Um, this is what happened. Actually, they're like, you, you don't use these muscles, you use these muscles. Oh, you use your boob muscles? Like your how. Oh, so I got that wrong. Yeah. Shit. I was distracted by John Cena's half-naked body. I still don't believe John Cena's a person. You know what I mean? I know. Like... Seeing him in real life, you're like, that's just, that's not a human. But good try, robot. Human can get that strong. Because he looks so manly, that's like, how? I know, he's so muscular. And I remember he told me, I probably said this before in another video, but he told me it was okay to eat McDonald's. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I remember I was eating McDonald's. I always was like, I want McDonald's because I was just like, white trash, you know? Everyone was like, you shouldn't be eating McDonald's. Like, we have all this healthy food here. Like, you need to have energy to film. And he told me, he was like, I eat McDonald's all the time. It's fine. He said he gets the two cheeseburger meal. He's like, it's not a big deal. I eat it. I I will not let you spank me in that area. You know, because you'll like me. I will not let you spank me in that area because you'll like me? No, in that area, you know, because you'll like me. Because you'll like me? You'll, like, you'll like me. Oh, because you're you know. like me? Yeah. That didn't happen. No, it didn't. <laughs> Wait, how did you come up with that? <laughs> I, don't <know. laughs> I don't know where that came out of, but I just got it. But the thing about that, that feels like it could maybe be in it. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, because there was some random stuff in it. I feel like that could have been in it, but it wasn't. Sweet and clean fry. Sweet and clean. That didn't happen. No. <laughs> <laughs> how did you come up with these? Because when I was watching the movie, it was like, <laughs> Random stuff and you say over and over yelling it. Like, what do they sweet and creamed things? Sweet and cream? Yeah, I don't know. I just felt like you might have said that. It, it seems like this could have happened. I haven't seen Judy's back door, but I bet it's really nice. I remember saying that. Yeah, you did. Was That's that a. Be like a sexual window. Oh, for sure. Fred was talking about ass before Nikki even released Anaconda. I never have seen Judy's back door, but. I bet it's really nice. Okay, Fred, have a good time. Please don't puke on my chest area. This is a hard one. That didn't happen. Yeah, okay, that <laughs> actually sounds like something from the movie. So that literally was that. so, I thought, there was like a, it was, that was a 50-50. I was like, that could definitely have happened. How do you know all of these? Have, this, is, this is honestly just embarrassing. I'm gonna have to fake not get some. Cause I feel so embarrassed. <laughs> Kevin is a big fat nothing and I cannot believe what I saw her doing with him today. That was in the movie. Yeah, that one was kind of easy though. Yeah. 
Kevin is a big, fat nothing, and I cannot believe what I saw her doing with him today. This is so bad, Greg. You look like a mess. Get it together. Oh shit, that's hard. That wasn't in it. Oh god. <laughs> Just admit it, you watched the movie. I feel so I haven't! I literally haven't. Because I, I haven't watched it because I I did all those reacting to Fred. So I'm like eventually I'm gonna react to Fred the movie, so I have to save it for that. But at this point I shouldn't even react to it because apparently I remember the whole thing word for word in my mind. Yeah, you don't even need to watch it. You can just do it without watching it. This is pathetic. Get out of my house, you little jock, who looks like a scary monster with a dumb personality. That wasn't in it. Yeah, it wasn't. That was kind of easy though. <laughs> that, was, that sounded like something that could happen, but I could tell like in your voice you were kind of like not committed. Because <laughs> harmonizing with me would be so much smoother and harder. I remember that line, but I feel like you might have added the smoother and harder. <laughs> I did add the um, and harder. <laughs> but it wasn't smoother? Yeah, it was. I was gonna say, they, they, they wouldn't have let that end harder slide. <laughs> yeah, I, I just added that right because harmonizing with me will be so much smoother. Show her what kind of man you really are. Show her your talent. That was in it. It wasn't in the movie. Uh, oh my god. It wasn't in the movie. It wasn't in the beginning or end though. This will prove if you do watch it. John Cena told me that. He came out of the fridge and like told me like in the beginning, right? Yeah. <laughs> this is sad. <laughs> Something like that. Show what kind of man you really are. Use those talents. What are your talents, Fred? Doesn't Miranda Cosgo remember this much about iCarly? <laughs> Her mind has probably moved on. I thought I'd moved on. I don't ever consciously think about Fred, but apparently I'm frozen in Fred the movie. One day we will lay on top of each other. That wasn't in it. <laughs> I'm doing that up right now. <laughs> that probably was in like a deleted scene. I know, it probably was. She will never die. She'll live on forever until she dies. That was in the movie. Yeah, it was. She will never die. She will live forever. <clears throat> Until she dies. Have I gotten any wrong? I think you got like one at the beginning wrong. Oh, back when I was trying to pretend. <laughs> Such a smoking hot babe. Every time I see her, I just tingle. That wasn't in it. It was. What? You said tingle in the movie. What? That was not in it. She's it such a smoking hot babe. Every time I see her, I tingle? Yeah. It was in the movie. It's just... Judy's such a smoking hot babe. It's just every time I see her, I just tingle. She makes you pee. It was when you won the bus with Joel, with your other kids. Oh, that wasn't actually me. That was a robot, so that's why. Pillar Trap, you secretly had a brother, but it died. Yeah, Dirk was actually um, a robot, and he's currently sitting in the bottom of Lionsgate in Nickelodeon headquarters, rotting. Blood figure moment. You're a tomato with two nipples attached. No. Yeah, it's not in the movie. I like your creativity though. I'm coming, Judy. I have buttloads of energy. Here I come. That wasn't in it. That wasn't in the movie. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so proud I got one wrong. I kind of like have a feeling that you're pretending. I, I, I don't remember saying buttloads. Yeah, you, yeah, that is a quote though. Oh my god, I'm so happy I don't know them all. Thank <laughs> god. I'm coming, Judy. I have buttloads of energy. Here I come. Hello, 911. Can you please hold your bowl? My bully is squeezing me like a banana. <laughs> that wasn't in it. <laughs> that was that had a lot of aspects to it. Like you added the banana, like <laughs> no. You should write a kid show. <laughs> That's good. That's real good. Bitch, that could be in any movie. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's real good. I feel like Fred, Fred's mom said that. Someone said it, but I forgot who. But yeah, it's in the movie. That's good. That's real good. This is worse than when you made me stay in a stinky, sticky dungeon. <laughs> that wasn't in it. No, it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> A gross, do you say sticky dungeon? Stinky and sticky. Oh. <laughs> That's gross, guys. I was gonna say, Fred never was locked in a sex dungeon, so that was not in the movie. Okay, you have two more left. So oh my I god, only two more. This is your chance to maybe get a couple wrong. Okay. I don't like showing my body too much, because you know, too much sex appeal. That was in the movie. Classic line, make it some was. merch out of that. <laughs> this is my swimming suit. I mean, sometimes I just don't like showing my body too much because, you know, too much sex appeal. <laughs> Cute. Okay, the very last one. Da, 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 da. Oh my god. 
Okay, this will just prove if you do dream about it every night. <laughs> I knew you'd come for me. You got my psychic message. What? That wasn't in it. It was in the movie! What?! Judy said that, so you don't dream about it as much as you think you do. Fred! It's me! I knew you'd come for me! You got my psychic message! I did. I brought you a gift, Judy. A squirrel! I love squirrels! Oh my god, there was a psychic part of Fred the movie? It was during one of those visions that you had. Oh, it was one of his hallucinations. Yeah, like, there was so many parts of the movie where, like, Fred was just, just high out of his mind. He's definitely currently a serial killer. Well, how did you guys do? Am I the only one who remembers all of the quotes from Fred the movie? Sadly, probably. Anyway, thank you guys for coming along on this journey. Have a Fred Figglehorn day. Get yourself a Judy. Stand up to your Kevins. And when your mom wants to play spin the bottle, say yes. Thank you guys so much. Comment below how much you wanna, I was gonna say bang Judy. Bang foot. How much you wanna bang Fred.